Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One. Coming to you on Tuesday, April the 23rd, the year is 2024. Let's talk trading. How to, part two, with Walmart. These videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine and differ from Walmart's. Walmart, last week, I shared my uh, thoughts on how to with the traders. How would you like to impart some of your wisdom on us? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I have any wisdom or not. But <laughs> I, <laughs> but what I can do is I can. I can go and basically say how to, how to, <laughs> you know, and uh, I'm making a joke at it, but the reality is I can't tell people, you know, how to trade or for that matter, how to even do anything in life. You know, I, I, I can't tell people how to, how to have a better life, how to have a worse life. You know, I can go and give them some helpful hints and things that I've observed through life, you know, after spinning around this globe, you know, 60 something times, you know, but, you know, or spinning around the sun 60 something times, but, you know, I can't really tell people, you know, people who come to me and said, you know, how do I create and be profitable? I don't know. You know, that's, 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 uh, that's something that you have to figure out on your own. However, I can give you some helpful hints that will, you know, help you out. And the first, the, the first one, obviously, is you need to go, and you need to go and make a plan. You know, and, and I, I know I must sound like a broken record because, you know, if, if you fail to plan, you plan, you, you plan to fail. You know, that, that, that old adage. I mean, older than the hills. I remember my daddy saying that to me when I was a little kid. I remember, you know, you know, being five years old out on a baseball field. You know, and uh, and walking up to the plate and my father being coach and you know and he'd say the first thing he'd say to me is you know you got a plan you know and it's sort of like you know we talk about it before the game we talk about it after the game and he'd say to me every time if you if you, if you fail playing you plan to fail and, you know and he was right even getting up to bat you know and you want to do anything in life that's that's the truth you know you want to go and pass you know when when i was in college you know First thing I sat down with is I, I didn't care about the course as much as I sat down with the syllabus. Why? Because I wanted to know what the rules were so I could maximize my results in that class. You know, it was very, very important for me uh, to be able to do that. So I sat down with the syllabus and I learned every rule and, you know, and what, what I needed to do, what I needed to do in order to get the best, the best grade that I could get in that class, you know, and, to me, that was extremely important to do that. And part of it was because I was going to school on a scholarship, and I didn't want to do anything. I was going to jeopardize that, and I would have to come up with, you know, who knows how much money to go and be able to continue my education. So I needed to be able to go and do that. So that's what I did. Well, trading is the same way. Put together a plan, okay? Figure out, okay, you know, what? how much money do you have to go and put into this? How much money... And, you know, are you willing to go and lose? Figure out, you know, what you can psych psychologically stand, you know, in terms of a loss. You know, is that just because you can psychologically stand to take a loss of X dollars, is that something that's sustainable, you know, over a period of time? Well, you know, we talked about this the other day, you know, this idea, what if you go and lose three, four, five days in a row? Do you still have an account big enough that you can still, you know, that you can still play in the game? Or are you out? Or do you have to go and start reducing load? What I mean by reducing load is by going and reducing the amount of money that you're willing to risk on a particular day and a particular trade. You know, you need to go and set all those parameters out. So that's part of the how-to. You know, you have to go and put those things in place. You know, and it's extremely, extremely important. You know, and so to me, everything is about the planning. You know, it's got it's got very little to do with anything else. You know, I, I you know, I, I've said this a million times on here, and that is that, you know, I like to go and play strategies or use, actually not strategies, but use tactics in a strategy that is based on statistics. That's my methodology. You know, that's what I do. And 
you know, and we can go and talk about that, I guess, a little bit, but that doesn't make you a profitable trader. You can have the greatest tactics and the greatest strategy in the world and lose every single thing because if you don't have a plan, it doesn't all come together. You know, and, you know, at the same time, you can have another fellow come along and, you know, we, we make fun of the, uh, the squiggly line, you know, people sometimes, you know, in jest, I think. But, you know, the reality is there are lots of squiggly line people out there that make a lot of money. Why? They don't make them a lot of money because of the squiggly line. They make them, they make a lot of money because they're using their squiggly line within some type of plan. So if you ask me what the how-to is, the how-to is get together a plan. Sit down. Use your, use the, you know, that gray matter between your ears and figure out a plan. Sit there and observe it, watch it, you know, and, and basically come up with a, a, a what you're going to do, codify it and make it, you know, follow it and, and, and that's the thing, once you've got it and you've shown that it works, then you got to go the next part of it. The next how-to is you need to go and be able to control your emotions because the next part of it is you've got to go and follow it. You know, Tio, you, know, you, you called me, you know, not too long ago, about, I don't know, probably a half hour ago or something like that. I was in a mess, you know, and uh, it, the reality was that, you know, it was a mess of my own making because I... You know, I, I I made a strategic mistake, and you know that happens. And you know, but the thing is, what did I do? I fell back on following my plan, and I worked my way out of you know worked my way out of that mess. And you know, and that's not me patting myself on the back. It's more of the reality is you got to go back to your plan and follow your plan. And it's funny because you said you want to do a video now, and then you corrected yourself and said, "Oh, you probably want to get out of your mess first, don't you?" And I said, "Yes, I do." You know, because you know, I can I can sit here and be in a trade or or even two trades and do a video, but I can't be in a mess and, and do a video because I will go and I'm going to mess one of the two up. I'll mess up either what I say on the video, mm-hmm. or I'm going to mess up my trade, and then I don't want to mess up my trade because that that takes money directly out of my pocket. <laughs> So I don't know if that answers the question or not, or but that's that's kind of how I think. Well, you know, one thing though is, like you said, you could do the how to, how to, but it's like you say the thing is you do a plan. Well, some people go, well, well what am I supposed to do? <laughs> plan, plan okay. what? And that might be what they need to hear. Okay. okay. Well, the. the what do, you, what do you need to plan? You need to go and plan. Okay, how much you know? How much money do I have? And be realistic with it. Okay, are you living off of that? What's in your trading account, or is it all available for you? You need to figure out figure out those variables. Okay, put that money aside. And that's what you're trading. You don't take money out of it. You don't. You know, that's just that's where your starting point is. Okay, you need to go. So that's that's the first step, I guess, in that plan. Is you got to figure out how much of an account do you have to start off with, you know. And the thing is, you, you know, with some of these brokers that are out there, you can start off with, them. you know, if you don't have very much money, that's not really that much of a, you know, of an issue nowadays because, you know, you, the, the reality is there are brokers out there who let you start an account with fifty dollars. Yeah, you're not going to live off of that, more than likely, at least here in the states, you're not going to live off of that. But it's a place where you can go. And you can learn and you can grow. I mean, there are countless stories out there of people who have taken $50, $100 accounts and grown them into, you know, $50,000, $100,000. Did it, did it happen overnight? No. It took time, sometimes years, but it certainly can be done. And, you know, you put together that uh, spreadsheet years ago showing, you know, if you only made 2% a day, you know, and, you know, you had X dollars are in it. And you went and you compounded that every day. You know, you can literally be a millionaire in not not too long a period of time. You know, and but so the point is, figure out what you have. You know, you need to go and have that parameter. This the second thing that you need to go and figure out in your plan is you need to, and it's going to be funny because you're going to notice here. I'm not going to talk about strategies or methodologies. I mean, that's 
and stuff until the very end. But the second thing that you need to figure out is you need to figure out what, you know, what psychiatrists call your trigger points. You need to know what triggers you, what goes and gets you upset, what gets you, you know, what goes in and really causes you to change directions or causes you to go and change what's called modality. In other words, what and how you deal with situations. In other words, you know, some people, you know, you know, my, my daughter's a firefighter. You know, some people see a fire and run, run out of the house. Other people, like my daughter, see a fire and run into the house. You know, either one, there's nothing wrong with either one of them. You know, it, but you need to figure out, no, who are you? What are you going to do when you get put under stress? Are you going to run into the fire or are you going to run out of the fire? I tend to go and, go and run into the fire. And that's why, you know, I'll go, if I get into a situation where things are not going, going my direction, I like to go and try to fight my way out of it until I get to a certain point. Because sometimes when the house is burning, you know, so the wild news just came out, we just ran up like 10, 20, 30, 30 pips in, uh, in literally two or three ticks. <laughs> And it's still going. <laughs> yeah, I'm up 20 or so. Yeah, I'm up, I'm up 30 on mine. 10, 20, 30, 40 pips on mine. Yeah, because I'm looking at the H4 um, chart. And uh, we were just below the daily um, previous day's yeah. um, high. And then it just screamed right through it. <laughs> it went from yeah, black on. to white, just like that. I, I ran 42 pips on, the, on that, but wow, yeah, that was a big move. Oh, Walmart's phone just, uh, just, uh, went dead on. So, as you can see here, price is steadily moving up. Oh, he's calling back. Hey, you're back. I am back. Something, something happened. Um, are we still doing the video? Yeah. I mean, we still got okay, cool. a couple of minutes left. Okay, great. Okay. So, you know, so that, that, that's really step two. You need to know what you're, what's causing you, causing you to go and make decisions. Because then when you know what's causing you to make decisions, you can put, you know, we talked about this a long time ago, we used to talk about this a lot, you can put up guardrails to, I'm not there to go and limit what you do, but more in terms of protecting you from yourself. <laughs> and so you can go build that, build that into the plan. You know, um, then once you've done all that, then you can start talking about, you know, the, the third leg of the stool, and that is, okay, what's my strategy going to be? Am I, am I going to go and be a fundamental trader? Or am I going to be a statistical trader? I'm going to be a technical trader. What, are, what is my strategy? And once you figure out what your strategy is, you know, and everybody's going to be different. So how do you figure out your strategy? You know, the, the reality is the internet is your world. You know, and the reality is there's literally hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of people out there that have written strategies about trading. And, yeah, and I would say don't even look at the Forex stuff as much as looking at trading in general. How did the great traders of day and some old, how did they make money? Remember, they didn't have all this fancy computer stuff, you know. How did they make money? They did stuff on the back of an envelope, literally, with a, with a pencil in hand, you know. So how did they make it work? Well, once you figure out something that it looks interesting to you, looks like something that, you know, you would have enjoy you know doing it that way then you can start looking at what once you figure out that strategy you can start looking at what are your tactics going to be in order to employ that strategy because there's a difference between strategy and tactics and you know what i was going to say right, we're going to have to continue this one and yeah, fellow traders uh, we'll have to uh continue this with a part three um so hopefully uh, you'll come back for that video and when you're trading, always remember and never forget, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. This is a rumpled one, over and out.